Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for JustMyPicks.com, and I'm breaking down the Monday night matchup between the Atlanta Falcons headed to the Bayou to take on the New Orleans Saints. Before I get right into that, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates of all the breakdowns of every single NFL game going on. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the game action. The Atlanta Falcons come into this game stumbling, you know, their first one-in-one -one game and, and, and against the Oakland Raiders, and, and you saw how they did some things good, how they did some things poorly, but overall, Matt Ryan in this offense is struggling. Julio Jones is not healthy. Sanu, the wide receiver, big free agent, is not healthy. The defense is not very good at all. You're looking overall at the Saints, and the Saints, I give them credit. Last week, they held Odell Beckham in check. They didn't really let him go off. Eli Manning did not have a big day like he did a year ago and throw for four or 500 yards on all these touchdowns. That really surprised me a lot. That Saints defense showed a lot of heart, a lot of testicular fortitude, and I'm thinking, okay, if these guys could piece together another game like this, except inside the Superdome, this could probably bode well for them. But I don't think they're going to have that kind of day against the Atlanta Falcons again. Um, just because the, the game against the Giants, there was an up-tempo game, a lot of pressure-packed situations, a lot of different key rotations, and I don't know how much effort on defense they'll be able to give. I know Drew Brees is going to go off in this football game. He was kept in check against the Giants last week. He's due to break out for at least four or 500 yards in this football game. So I'm looking for a big day from Drew Brees because, A, he's in my fantasy league, and, B, I think he's going to pass for another big-time single-season record. When you look at Drew Brees in, in the past, when they've had big offensive years, they had a similar roster as they do now as they did in the past to that you look at a good thing them getting rid of cj spiller and 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 him not really being the running back that they need overall i'm just it's just comes to mind a lot of different weapons that they have are are literally improving they were the the team that was getting beat on last year and they started to improve in the secondary and things like that so the atlanta falcons have one too many holes on defense, one too many holes on offense. They cannot run the ball successfully well uh, to start the football season. So if that changes, that could be a big upside. But in this football game, I have to roll with my heart on this one. I have to go to the New Orleans Saints because I believe the Saints are going to be able to go off. They're going to have the home field advantage. Everybody knows inside that Superdome, it's a different set of rules because the mojo that goes on there, the voodoo that goes on there, the, the 12th man, if you will, that goes on there, they get very loud. They affect snap counts. They affect different parts of the game because they are loud, and there's a lot of those Saints fans down there. So I'm picking the New Orleans Saints to win this game against the Atlanta Falcons. I think it's going to be a very close game, but overall it's going to be a shootout as far as a close game. So I'm picking the Saints to win. Are you Saints fans, Falcons fans? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Also check out JustMyPicks.com for all the breaking news of the hottest updates in sports and plus more. And we want you to share this video in your Facebook group so we can debate with you each and every week. And as always, we thank you so very much for tuning in. Check us out next week for week four where we break down the hottest matchups in the NFL. Thank you so very much.